How's it going everyone? My name's Lincoln Lewis and I'm coming at you from one of Queensland's gems, the incredible Tangaluma Island Resort on Morton Island. Now, given the current circumstances of everything, the island resort is actually closed, but that actually works as a little bit of a silver lining because that gives us the rare opportunity to give you an up close look with no one else around of everything that this beautiful island has to offer. Now, I'm going to be joined by Josh, who's one of the Dolphin Care Teams and Island's yeah, Eco Rangers, and he's going to explain to us exactly what we're bringing to you tonight. Okay guys, so we're about to start the dolphin feeding program. If you want to follow me, I'll show you how we do this. So every night I'm lucky enough to come down here and hang out with these beautiful guys. We have up to 13 wild inshore bottlenose dolphins that come and visit us here nearly every night. So what are you doing at the moment, Josh? Well, I'm just dropping this brick into the water. It's going to get their attention and you'll notice they'll all come over to the brick. I'm going to give them one fish each, except for the calves. They don't receive one just yet. <laughs> there goes one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Where do we go? Nine and ten. So we've only got. So how many have we got here tonight, mate? Looks like we've got eleven at the moment. I'd say we're missing two of the boys so far. So I think Zephyr's not in. Zephyr, right? So, do, so do the boys just um come and do their own thing, do they? Yeah, they like to come and go as they please. So all the dolphins now are going to go and line up in their own lanes. What, they just know exactly what they're going to do? Yeah, mate, they know where to go. If they go into the wrong lane, we won't actually feed them until they go back into the right spot. So we'll make our way down onto the beach. Awesome. So, mate, tell us how this all started. Like, how did the dolphins actually originally come to Tangaloom Island Resort? Just, like, look at them, they're actually lining up. It's what quite, the hell is going on? Quite incredible, this is so isn't cool. it? This is my life every night. It's amazing. <laughs> And at the moment, we don't have any guests, so we're very, very privileged to be able to do this. Are you, so, what do you do? Like, do you, do you just come and watch them every chance you get? Most nights, mate, I come down and have dinner with them. You'll see. Um, it's quite amazing. Just me, myself, and the dolphins. It's an amazing day. Wow. So, yeah, it, the program started around 30 years ago. Right. We had the lights installed on the jetty, which attracted lots of bait fish into the area, yep. which brought the dolphins in. And in 1992, the resort decided to start a dolphin feeding program. It's since become the world's best dolphin feeding program as we get to witness the dolphins hunting during, before and after the dolphin feed. So it's quite amazing. Hopefully we'll get to witness some of that tonight. So I've been here a couple of times over the years and I, you come down and it's usually just chock a block full of people watching the dolphins. You all line up in massive lines. You get to actually feed the dolphins. But at the moment, we're going to be showing everyone watching a real like close look at each individual dolphin and like do they they have their own individual personalities are they yeah mate yeah they've all got their own names uh, we there's a few different ways we try and tell them apart um, behavior markings colors scars and size yep. uh, the main feature we look for is their dorsal fin right so they're all very unique just like our faces yep. their dorsal fins are all slightly different okay sweet now i see i happen to see there's like a penguin uh not a penguin what am i saying a pelican, a pelican. god I, I, it's the piece so i see a pelican that's loitering around and they're actually kind of chasing the pelican away is is the, he's one of the resident locals or uh, well he's actually one of the rescue birds that's been brought over here so we have some amazing women on the mainland the pelican twins uh, they pelican help twins. us pelican twins that's yes. awesome <laughs> so they help out with lots of sick and injured sea and shore birds yep. and they bring them over to tangaluma as a place to rehabilitate so we keep an eye on them. Unfortunately, lots of them get caught in fishing lines, fishing hooks, um, and they can also get um, damage from other animals in the ocean and other pollutants and plastic bags and things like that that enter the ocean. So they come out to Tangaluma where we can keep an eye on them. Gotcha. This guy knows that there's a food source here though, and he's gonna try his best to pinch a fish. So we're gonna keep an eye on him. Can we get up, hang on, I tell you what, I'm, I know we're live right now, but I wanna try, I wanna do this. I wanna see if we can go up Close and personal to, uh, do, does he have a name or uh, just say, cheeky? I would say this guy's the Colonel. <laughs> and, uh, he's, he's quite a cheeky pelican. So right. we don't encourage him to eat the fish here, but we do feed them every morning at 11 o'clock from the jetty. Right. Where we actually do presentations, to teach people about the pelicans and about conservation as well. Now, honestly, I, I'm saying this again. I've, I've been here several times and uh, I, I've like seeing it this, I, I can't even describe the feeling of us being completely alone, looking at dolphins waiting to be fed. Um, we better get out there because I, these two are waiting for done. us. All right, I'll tell you what, we're on. We're on here. <laughs> so we're very lucky tonight. We've got two dolphins. All right. Have to take the camera. Tell you what, I've taken the camera. We're going live. This was up. <laughs> okay, so 
Run us through exactly what happens every single night with these dolphins. Now, you can see that they've, they've lined up individually. They know their They've they know all their lined place. up in their lanes. They know their own lane. So here we have Echo and Nari in lane one. Wow. If you'd like to come out with us. Absolutely. I'm going to feed these two. So we've got Echo and Nari, both male dolphins. Oh my God. This is so cool. Hey legend, how you doing? Okay, so are these, like is Echo and Nari, like are they in charge of the group or what's what's the go with uh, these, these guys? These are two male dolphins, they're not in charge of the group. Oh if you'd my. like to grab your bag, you've got your bag I now. would love to. Grab this one is... fish, Okay. and you're going to put it nice and deep down under the water, yep. and you're going to feed Nari while I feed Echo. Come so over here go. and check this out. All right. All right. Ah, I'm feeding a wild dolphin! <laughs> now this is Nari, if you look closely, you'll see a big scar on the top of his head. Come over here and check this out. Give oh. him another fish now. Right. We're going to feed him at the same time. Oh, oh, I just dropped That's it. That's alright. That's alright. Oh my god, you're right. And another one, keep going. Wow. See, if you look closely at the top of his head, there's a big scar there. Right. Nari actually became world famous in 2009 when he was injured by a shark, so he was very lucky to survive. I the did shark read about attack. that actually. No, it's still going, it's still going, it's still going. Did you, did, yeah. No. It's just black. Yeah, yeah, on the, the, the back. screen does, uh, the screen tends to go black there. Um, but, um, and you can see there he's arrived with another big scar there. That's probably from another dolphin. Right, right. Okay, can we go at the same time again, Rick? Dude, like, the, it, it, it's just a feeling that never gets old. Like, there's wild dolphins that are just so at ease with us, and they just so gently take a fish. It's, it's incredible, mate. I do this every night of my life. It still doesn't feel like a job. It's quite amazing. We're all very privileged to be able to come here with the dolphins, and we want all of our guests to come back as well as it's, soon as they can. You can't even describe this experience. And I know, like, the amount of times I've done this, you see people walk away with that exact same look that, that I'm, I know I've got right now. I'll tell you what, they're pretty well behaved, for they all know it's chow time. They do. They're all just like chilling out, they know that everyone's got their place. So, alright, I see a little baby swimming over there. So, is that one of the pod's calf? That is, that's Scout, that's Tinkerbell's newest calf. Tinkerbell actually has six calves in the family. Oh. And it's quite amazing. Uh, Scout's nearly one year old. Right, okay, is Scout the youngest in the, in the group? He is, yes. Okay. Awesome. And there's two, right? There's two. We have two cars at the moment. Yeah, we have Scout. He's about one. And we also have Comet, who's about 18 months old. Wow. Got, I know. I noticed the pelicans just like loitering around. And we only feed the dolphins a small percentage of their diet, around 10 to 20 percent. Okay. And this is why we get to see them hunting as well. No, I didn't want, didn't want you to be left out. Actually. So it has very, very little impact on, on their natural life. Right. I'll tell you what, this is what I'm gonna clip that around. I'm gonna clip this around when I can finally get it going on! See? Breathe in, mate. <gasps> think think <laughs> not! There we go. Alright, we'll give them one more fish each and then we'll come out I'll of the water, what, eh? Can I grab that camera for a sec? I wanna I wanna take this right right with me. Let me show you this. Yeah, you're right. Let's just keep them nice and deep. That's it. Wow. This is so awesome. Can we go past and have a look at all the all the different dolphins really quickly before they swim off? Ah, uh, they're not going to swim off. We've just we've just got to come. We'll just come back out of the water. Yep. We're just got to keep the routine the same for as we do with our guests. So oh, what it. we do, we give them a few. We come out, and then we head on back into the water. So we'll go back out now. Awesome. So we do have to be careful though. We have a few little um, wobbygong sharks and eels and other things that like to into the water every night so we've got to keep an eye out for them oh my god this is the coolest thing ever this is very cool we're very very <laughs> lucky Nick. wow not many places in the world where you can do this so everyone put it on your bucket list get over to tangaluma get over here check this out come and feed our beautiful wild dolphins i tell you what i kind of want to uh i want to do a little something for the uh for the for the audience is it okay if I drop the camera down into the water so that people can maybe see inside the water of the dolphin taken? Yeah, that's fine, mate. Just don't go too close. I'll feed them as you're doing that. Done deal. All right, let's go. All right, Ready? hang on. Wade, just got to get myself a fish. I, I can feed them or you want oh, to Oh, you can? It? Happy days. I'll do one, you do one. Perfect. Hang on, hang on. Give me a sec. I'm... I'll keep them going here. There All we right. go. Let's see if 
we, awesome, can we go one more time yeah, with that? One more fish out. Come on, Nari. Nari. Come back, buddy. Echo. Okay, there you go. You've got so echo. Just, we've got sides. Oh you've got God, echo now. Oh, cool. Thanks, mate. Out of the water. Awesome. Thanks, Echo. Thanks, Nari. Thank you. Oh, give us a little head nod I there. saw that little nod. That was awesome. <laughs> wow. Right, hang on. I'm just readjusting the camera, everyone, so I apologise. I just got to dry it off. <laughs> All right. So, that just happened. Hang on. I think there's still a bit of water because my thing's not drying it off properly. But that's okay. I apologise to everyone if it's a little bit. Go for a walk along with them all. What? I can go for a walk along with you. Is that alright, Phil? Yep. I'll stay with these guys and follow. Yes! Come and meet the rest of the team! Sure. Come on, Nara. Okay, this is the rest of the legendary team. Hey, guys. Hey, bro. Who we got here? Uh, we got the, the big guys here. We got Tinkerbell and Rani. We got Tinkerbell on the left here, Rani on the right. And these guys are our alphas. So Rani is our alpha male, Tink's our alpha female here. I'll get you to feed Tinkerbell. Beautiful. Oh, well I'm thinking. Pretty cool, eh? This is so sick. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I'll what we do every night. Can I, I want to, can I try and take that underwater one more time? I just... You get to watch dolphins <laughs> getting fed from your own, from just like the comfort of your own home. I'm just so stoked that we get to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tinky. <laughs> Thanks, Tink. Awesome. Thanks, Rani. Are we going to move on and say hello to some of the others? We can. Yeah, move right. on. Meet the other side. All right. Come over here. Thanks, mate. Uh, How's it going? Hi, good. How are you? I'm good. Who we got here? I mean, I don't know if this is a uh, proper size fish. Maybe I'll need a bigger fish. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> wow. All so where did? So this one here that you're feeding on the left is Bet. So if you want to give her a fish, there we go. Oh, thank you. A big one. <laughs> Thank you. That's all good. This is amazing. <laughs> so, um, I'm kind of a bit lost for words right now. Um, I don't even know what to say. I'm, I'm getting to feed wild dolphins on a completely deserted beach at the moment. And this is just a very surreal thing. So I hope everyone watching is, is enjoying getting to watch this from, from the comfort of your own home. And when the island resort does open back up, you need to put this on your bucket list. This place is absolute paradise now on top of the dolphin feeding which you come here you get to do you can snorkel the shipwrecks which is just down the far side of the island you can go quad biking through the island or on the beach you can go sand dune tobogganing you can go parasailing you can lay by the beach go onto the other side go camping go surfing this place has it all and on top of that you have these absolutely beautiful sunsets from tangaluma island resort looking outwards and just over the most crystal clear blue water. This place is literally heaven on earth. So I hope you have enjoyed checking out the little backyard of Brisbane. 
45 minute boat ride straight here. You got paradise on your doorstep. And I've just had a dolphin swim right behind me and like it was nothing. That was just the coolest thing. So thank you so much everyone for tuning in. Please put Tangaluma Island Resort on your bucket list. Come visit, meet the locals and have a good time. Thanks very much. Cheers. Ew! I'll go on the water. Yeah. Cheers guys. Yew. Okay guys, we got full play witch style on you right now. So we just stopped the live feed, but now we're picking it back up because Joshy just told me that there's one last little ritual that they do to say goodbye to the dolphins each night. Joshy, run us through brother. So just like we did at the start of the night guys, we're gonna give all our beautiful dolphins one fish each. We're gonna pull the brick out of the water, say goodnight, and they're all gonna swim off home. It's a great time for all of our guests to come and get a good photo of them all. Have a look at them, see if they can identify them. And of course, say goodnight to them, which is pretty amazing. As you can see, they're all very well behaved at the moment. Two more fish. That is amazing, dude. Okay, we'll pull the brick out of the water. Say goodnight, Link. Goodnight, legends. Goodnight, dolphins. Thank you very much. And we'll see you again tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Supposed to swim away. <laughs> Oh, there they go. They're off. Oh, they're going around the side. Yeah, they'll go under that way. Look. Oh, there you guys. Oh, cool look at them go. <laughs> and I'm lucky enough to do that every night. Wow. <laughs> that just happened. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Okay, now we're really signing off. But thank you so much for tuning in. Come visit Tangaluba Island Resort. Thanks, Thanks guys. We'll see you soon. Yeah.